what is faith? It is belief in the absence of evidence. Now, I don't propose to tell anybody what to believe, but for me, believing when there's no compelling evidence is a mistake. The idea is to withhold belief until there is compelling evidence. And if the universe does not comply with our predispositions, okay, then we have the wrenching obligation to uh, accommodate to the way the universe but I think really you is. Could, you, I mean, but I mean, you, so you step forward to say, I deny all religion because I can't see no, it proved no, no, no. scientifically? No, no, no. You see, the value it, it, of religious it, it, experience and the value of, 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 of reaching for higher experiences. Let me say, religion deals with history, with poetry, with great literature, with ethics, with morals, including the morality of uh, treating compassionately the least fortunate among us. All of these are things that I endorse wholeheartedly. Where religion gets into trouble is in those cases that it pretends to know something about science. The science in the Bible, for example, was acquired by the Jews from the Babylonians during the Babylonian captivity of 600 BC. That was the best science on the planet then. But we've learned something since then. Roman Catholicism, uh, Reformed Judaism, most of the mainstream Protestant denominations have no difficulty with uh, the idea that humans have evolved from other creatures, that uh, the Earth is 4.6 billion years old, with the Big Bang, they don't have any trouble with that. The trouble comes with people who are biblical literalists, right. who believe that the Bible is dictated by the creator of the universe to an unerring stenographer. And so therefore they... And, and has no metaphor or allegory. And from it. there they make their political and economic choices. Uh, and social and, choices. And scientific. And scientific choices. And, and scientific. And that's part of your problem with that idea. Exactly. It is that because for the wrong reasons, we make the wrong choices about science. That's right. So who is more humble? The scientist who looks at the universe with an open mind and accepts whatever the universe has to teach us? Or somebody who says everything in this book must be considered the literal truth and never mind the fallibility of all the human beings involved in the writing of this book. Mm -hmm. What does it do for you to I didn't to have, have any near death say to you. I didn't no, have any near death experiences. I, would, I didn't have a religious conversion, but, but you I thought about what it would be like to die. Certainly, and what it would be like for my my family. Oh, right. And and uh, I didn't much think about what it would be like for me because I don't think it's likely there's anything that you think about after you're dead. That's um, it, huh? <laughs> Yeah, long, dreamless sleep. I'd love to believe the opposite, but I don't know of any evidence.